Welcome to Comfort Happy Number 2. I apologize, y'all. It's been a rough day. I'm not going to be making any videos tonight. Happy Black History Month. But, um, yeah. It's been a really long day. I didn't get to make any videos because of the weather. And you know the funny thing apart is when I got to work, the sun started shining. When I got off work, the sun stopped shining. When I got home, the sun started, the sun came back out. And then I went into my room and the sun went away again. And then the temperature dropped. So I was like, okay, so that's how this is going to play. So I didn't get to do anything live today at all. And that totally fucking sucked. Outside of what I just did on TikTok about um, indigenous erasure. One second, I'll show you all my picture. So this is my picture. Yeah, uh, TikTok, can we please stop the damned indigenous and Native American erasure? Long live indigenous and Native American people slash tribes. So there's a slash there also. And um, I'm really, 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 totally and truly pissed off about this shit. So this will be the only video. And um, I made like five parts for TikTok expressing how much I am pissed off at this small group of black people that have decided that Native Americans are not the original Native Americans. I'm going to get a lot of smoke for it on TikTok. I'll keep you posted. But it's just a simple fact for people who are black. I'm mixed. I own my blackness. I am Echo Van Grey Wolf. My government name is James Williams Jr. And I have to write down black on my freaking applications for everything. But I'm mixed. And in 1973, there was no mixed on your birth certificate. You just, you were what you were. But see, here's the thing. I'm generationally mixed because both of my parents were mixed. All right? My mom's dad was mixed. My mom's mixed because her dad's mixed. And my grandmother on my mom's side is not mixed to let me know of, but she could be mixed because she was raised by black people, but she's not actually black. So we know that we have native on my mom's mom's side. All right. On my dad's side, we know we have black and white. But my dad, no, excuse me, I fucked up. On my mom's dad's side, we know that he was part black and part white, and he has white presenting or white passing ability. So I get off of TikTok for a minute. He has he has he looked white. He looked like a white man with a tan. He's three times lighter than me. He about the same color as my mom. And until he died, he looked like a white man with a tan. Straight hair, everything. He was lighter than this. No. Now my dad's side, my dad's darker than me. His dad was black. His dad was all black. His mom was very brown. And her mom was very light. She was a light-skinned native. And my grandmother, that's his mom, was a brown-skinned native. So either she's all native or she's mixed, but I'm generationally mixed. You know, there is enough native in me. Probably won't pass a blood quantum test. But I am native as well as black, as well as white, and I don't deny that. But this small set of black people have pissed me off to the highest point of pissivity which is why I've chosen my native side, and I'm going to stick with that shit ten toes deep in the sand. And the reason why is childhood trauma, for one, because most of the racial ambiguous shit that has happened to me has come from black people. Half-breed this, zebra that, um, and then when I found out I was native, it was a la 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 all this bullshit running around. You know, a lot of people are like, well, you know, that's just people being people. Let's not count the times of how many black girls told me that they would never date me because I'm a half-breed. So I guess we discount that, right? Let's not talk about how many times very hot black women told me that I was breathing up their air and I would never be good enough. And then those same black girls who would see me with a white girl or another girl of a different color be like, Oh, now you're just too good for us. You can't have it both ways. And if you're black and you're female and I just pissed you off, don't discount my experience. Don't get mad at me because those black girls fucked it up. And I just refuse to date black women. That's my choice. And sadly, and sadly, it's not all of you black women, but it's a majority versus a minority who all act the same. Too much attitude. I don't have time to be treated like dog shit. Not by a woman, not by a man, but not by a woman who looks like me. That's not a fucking option. I don't want to be treated by dog like dog shit by any woman for any reason from any race. 
but I'm not going to lay there and let that shit happen from a woman who looks like one of my five sisters, who walks like my five sisters, walks and talks like my five sisters, because most, most black people have been raised all the same. You know, we were raised black. We were not raised native. We were not raised white. We were straight raised black. So two heritages rarely came into our household. When I went to go see my great-grandmother from the age of 6 to the age of 10, it's the only time I got to learn anything native. And I didn't get to learn the language because she just wasn't going to teach it or she just had it beaten out of her or whatever. She just didn't teach it. But she did teach us folklore. And I was one of the only grandkids that was ever there. You know, great-grandkids. Um, my grandmother on my dad's side, they both made a living cooking. My great-grandmother made a living cooking and... Her daughter, my grandmother, made a living cooking. And unfortunately, I suffered for that living cooking because I don't like corn. And they made pancakes with corn in them and made me eat them. So I do not fuck with corn, you know. It's, I eat popcorn. That's the closest thing to corn that you're going to get me to eat. And, you know, with the whole TikTok thing, there's only a small group of black people doing it. It's like maybe five pages but five pages have a lot of followers with this whole pseudoscience of Native Americans not being the original natives. And it's pissed me off to the highest festivity. So like I said, it's been a long day. And when I get back on TikTok, I'm going to find another group with the same bullshit. All right? And if you're Native and you don't support me, it's fine. It's not the first time. Just don't be like the two dudes that didn't want me to date their niece because... Their big brother was the high chieftain, and I did not react to that properly on how they treated me, but I did react to it in a humanly fashion, and granted, it was not polite. The first guy, I honestly told him that since he can't stand up, it wouldn't do me any good to beat him up because I do martial arts, and it wouldn't be fair to fight a man who can't stand on his own damn feet. However, I did tell him that I would push him down this hill that was at the building that we were at, which is now a parking lot, by the way. But um, his big brother came and started chewing me out after I just got the knife degree from the baby brother. And I said, let me tell you something. As I told your brother, I won't beat you up because you can't stand up. But I don't have a problem rolling your ass into traffic. They were both in wheelchairs. And I know that sounds horrible, and I am sorry, but I literally own the fact that I said that shit. I said it. I'm sure they'll never forget me because it's like, yeah, we don't want you near our, our niece because you're not pure blood. I never heard the term pure blood before that day. I've always been told half-breed, half-breed, half-breed from black people. I am from white people maybe once or twice in middle school, but mostly in grade school. White people didn't bother me that much in middle school, but black people never stopped. They were relentless all the way to high school. And then there was only one white guy it really caused me problems outside of school, and it was in high school. I was still in high school, but he was a grown-ass man at my job. And for three years, he called me chief. Three years of calling me chief. I begged this man to call me by my name. He wouldn't call me by my government name. Refused. Straight refused. Just kept calling me chief. Hi, chief. What's up, chief? How you doing, chief? You guys are still around? I was like, dude, I'm not full native. Okay, chief. Whatever, chief. It, it, nothing ever came out of his mouth at me except for the word chief. So when you weigh the pros and cons and if you're black and you're pissed off at me for supporting Native Americans versus supporting black, you can do that. I'm not even going to be mad at you, but the fact of the matter is I've had more bad racial black experience than I've had from white people or Native people, which really fucking sucks because I was raised around black people and I got a lot of fucking smoke from black people about that shit and a lot from pretty girls too. We don't want you because you're a half-breed. We're going to cheat on you because, you know, you're not really one of us. No. All kinds of shit. No. So you can get mad at me. That's fine. I'm not going to get mad at you for getting mad at me because that's your opinion and it's fine. Just don't come to my front door because I send warnings, not invitations. If you come to my front door, I will not be held responsible for the arrow that I put through your chest. That was supposed to be cool. It didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But anyway... Moving on. That's the reason why I'm not really making any videos tonight. I wanted to do a live um, Instagram and I wanted to do a live um, TikTok and it, it just didn't work out. You know? And then um, when I keep stumbling into these pro-black groups who want to uh, race Native Americans and say that they are the originals 
but they don't even talk about native folklore, but they can jump around with turkey feathers and some more shit. Natives do not use turkey feathers, for those who aren't aware. It only got worse, and for like the last three to four weeks, I've been stumbling into these groups, and it's only been infuriating me. That being said, thank you all to the 234 of you who sat here for 15 minutes and let me rant. I thank you, I love you, and I'm going to leave you with this. Find out who you are. Know who you are. Respect who you are. And in that process, don't you ever disrespect someone else. Don't do it. Don't try to erase someone else's life experience. Don't try to discount someone else's heritage. Don't try to start a war with people because you want to be those people. Okay? It's cool, but it's not right. And you need to understand it. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And sometimes science ain't always right. And like there's a lot of people on there, and I mentioned this in the video on YouTube, I mean Instagram, fuck TikTok. They're all the same after a day. About how the 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 memorial of Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, Teddy Roosevelt, and whoever the hell the other guy is. And there's like very few Native American memorials. And we had a Sacagawea statue, but it was it was booty because they made Sacagawea kneeling next to Lewis and Clark instead of having her standing there and leading the way. And then we had uh, another statue, <coughs> excuse me, just down the road. We had Union or somebody's soldiers pointing rifles at Natives. So we didn't have any good Native statues here in Charlottesville. And um, we had a whole bunch of other statues that caused the death of a young white lady. So, you know, um, it's just really, really, really bad. And you'd have to fucking understand it. You know, not all statues are of good people. You know, I think if you go further up north, you might find a, a statue of Pocahontas. I don't know if that's good representation or bad representation. It just kind of depends on how you look at it. But, you know, there are no statues of native heroes. There are no statue of Asian heroes. There are no statue of Hispanic heroes. Geronimo deserves a statue. Pocahontas deserves a very well better statue. Sacagawea deserves a better statue. Her husband deserves a better statue. Swanto deserves a statue. Geronimo, Sitting Bull. None of them have monumental statues. Well, Sitting Bull has a monument, but no. To have some other people come in, that's hey, black people deserve a statue. Harriet Tubman deserves a statue. Alex Haley from Roots deserves a statue. His this, this ancestor, Kunta Kinte, deserves a statue. Y'all might not agree with that, but I think they deserve a statue. No. Um, Frederick Douglass deserves a statue. But they don't have any black or native statues almost anywhere. Martin Luther King deserves a statue. Malcolm X deserves a statue. But they're not there. You're going to honor some. Honor all or don't honor any at all. But here's that thing, man. If I was all black, I probably would still go crazy about this whole thing, you know, because it's not right to disassociate yourself from your black culture. But apparently, and again, I want to end this video with this, that, it, that small group of black people are so ashamed to be black that they do anything and everything to avoid being black. So they want to erase indigenous people. And that shit pisses me off because I'm part indigenous, but I'm also part black. And I'll give you one more thing before I go. I had to have a talk with a dream analyst at work because a long time ago when I was suffering from what do I feel more, I guess, there was a fight in a dream that I was in. And I do Kung Fu, so I woke up and I had scratched myself in my sleep. And it wasn't like, like scratch, it was like a fucking gash. Um, in the dream, I was three people at the same time. I was a native. I was at the bar. I was a black guy and a white guy. We all had my face. The black guy and the white guy got the fighting, and they were doing kung fu. The native guy was just sitting at the damn bar drinking, doing nothing but drinking. And the kung fu went claw to claw because they both were doing tiger claw. And um, scratched myself, and I woke up, and I was bleeding. I was like, damn, I fucked myself all up. And I didn't have nails, so, you know, I don't know how the hell that shit happened, but I didn't have nails, but I gashed myself really, really good. So I went to talk to the woman at work that I talked to did um talks about dreams and teaches me about dreams and shit. And she's like, well, what was the native doing? 
The native dude was just sitting back with a smile on his face, watching this shit as these two dummies were killing each other. So, and which one did you feel more connected to? I said, well, I was feeling really good with the native part until um, I woke up with that big gash on my side with four nails cutting through me. I was like, well, there's your problem. You have an identity crisis. And your black side and your white side will always be at war while your native side is just watching to see who's going to be the superior. And at the end of the day, it looks like the native side might have been the actual winner of the whole thing. So understand some things, man. Mix people, we go through some racist ass shit. Everyone else needs to calm the fuck down and stop being racist. Mix people, we're here for a reason. It's probably called negotiating. With that being said, I've taken up way too much of your time. I love all 240 of you. I mean, I know it's only 234. But, you know, we can't delete and we can't um, fix it. So, that being said, I am Echo Fang Grey Wolf. This is Kung Fu Ever number 2. Be seeing you. And thank you for the love and support. I'll try and make it up to y'all as soon as possible. But it won't be tomorrow because if I have money, I'm going to see Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumanium. And Disney. I need a job.